First, I will clarify the four vital elements of ad serving, campaign, ad, website, and zone. A campaign is a group of related ads. The campaign holds essential options, including targeting, frequency capping, and budget. It is necessary to have at least one ad in each campaign to ensure that there is something to display. An ad, also known as a creative, is an object that contains all the data for rendering the advertisement. It may consist of visual, textual, or audio elements. You can create as many ads as you need within a campaign. A website is a set of zones that display ads. Therefore, each website should have at least one zone. A zone is a defined area on a website where ads will be displayed. Each zone has an ad code, a small piece of JavaScript to be installed into the HTML code of your website. Let's start by creating a display ad campaign. Click the campaigns menu on the left sidebar, then click create button. Give a name to your campaign. Despite the campaign form offering so many different options, only a name is necessary for the basic setup. After saving the campaign, proceed to create an ad. In the first step, you should select an ad format. As this video is focused on basics only, I'm selecting an image banner, though many other ad formats are available. Specify the landing page URL. The visitor will be taken to this URL when the banner is clicked. Next, you should select banner dimensions and an image file. You can drag and drop files as well. The ad is successfully created. Now head over to the websites page and create your first website. Click Create button. Specify the website URL. After saving the website, proceed to create a zone. Make sure to select the banner format and the appropriate dimension, as the zone settings should match your ad. The zone is created successfully. On this page, you can see an ad code to be installed into your website's HTML pages.